And for those who enjoy this channel and would love to support us financially, please feel free to hit that donate link. We'd greatly appreciate it. God bless. Okay, another astronomy video. Let's get to the point. First picture it is about the Big Bang, the first generations of stars. Uh, during the uh, early uh, millions or billions of years in the universe, if I'm not mistaken, I forgot the exact figure, uh, are made by hydrogen, helium, and lithium. So for the first generation. And then supernova events happen. So second generations of stars form with happy elements from interstellar soup. Okay, now, if this theory is true, then why do we still find first generation stars if they've already exploded? There was already a supernova event, right? So this is a problem for evolutionists. There are a lot of trade secrets. Next picture. This is very peculiar for uh, this has stunned uh, astronomers, both theist and uh, atheist astronomers, especially atheist astronomers. We, for some strange reason, have a very thin atmosphere and it is just perfect way to support life. It has the right density to maintain the presence of water or liquid, solid, and gas matter needed for life. It is obvious that it was designed, not a coincidence. Okay, a thicker or thinner atmosphere would not be able to make solid liquid and gas the way it is today which can support life. Okay, so a thin atmosphere, just right, is obviously a design feature. Okay, next picture. Okay, I'll read it first. If our sun were closer to the middle of the galaxy, the Earth will be bombarded by X-rays and gamma rays from the galactic center. And there's also a black hole there. But here's the new one. Or, it's not a new one actually, but it's almost the same, but uh, there's a difference. Now, if the sun were further out, uh, at first, if it is closer, there, there is danger. But if it were further out, its orbital period would no longer match the rotation rate of our galaxy. Okay, and we would likely drift into our galaxy spiral arms where radiation levels are higher. Okay, the point here is its orbital period would not match its rotation rate. They should match. They should be fine tuned. Okay, that's the point of it. Okay, last picture. Now this is a good one. Did you know that there are only uh, two places in our galaxy that the Earth can exist with our uh, solar system organization for life to be possible? What are the probabilities that the Earth by chance is in one of those two places in such a big galaxy? And by some calculations, the answer is 1 in 50. Obviously designed. Okay, my point here is like this. I'm sorry for the interference. Uh, one of the safe places for our planet is at the middle of, of spiral arms where uh, there are less stars, gas, and dust. It should be clear. Okay. And uh, most of the uh, parts of the Milky Way galaxy are not like that. There are only two precise locations that contain less star, less gas, and dust. And we are one in those two. What are the odds? Okay, that will be all. Thank you for listening and sorry for my English again. Thank you for listening.
work that we're doing here on Standing for Truth, please hit that subscribe button because we are just getting started.